Brown, first base as Commissioner you, Ford Frick to expand I'll, the big leagues next I'll, year and put new teams in the four I'll, cities. I'll, the congressman I'll, proposed I'll, that there be three I'll, major I'll, leagues, I'll, each with eight teams, instead of the present set up two leagues with ten teams each. Their proposal will put teams in Buffalo, Milwaukee, Dallas, Fort Worth, and in their words, whichever other city is ready to qualify. Congressmen who joined in the new fest are Earl Cabell and James Wright of Texas, Henry Royce, Clemente Zablocki of Wisconsin, Thaddeus Dalton, and Richard McCartney of New York. Cabell is from Dallas, and Wright is from Fort Worth. Royce and Zablocki are from Milwaukee, and Zelsky and McCartney are from Buffalo. Along with the request was a statement in which the congressman said the owners of existing clubs can largely determine whether and when another club or clubs can enter the business of baseball. The statement went on to note, Congress and the nation are watching how the owners will use their privileges. Fort Frick said that he's received a copy of the resolution, but declared since it came in the form of a private letter, he'll answer privately before making a public really starting to feel the pinch, and for one of the few times in history, is a little jealous of San Francisco. With Mickey Mantle, Roger Murphy, and Elston Howard being shot down so often with injuries, it's hardly time to eulogize their general of the field. Gin and tonic, 23 and 3 eighths, up one quarter, seems safer than remaining unchanged at 23 and one life sentence. Santa Domingan Republic shared off in the collision. Now in England's day, as I've said, any man who's not queer is not normal. Any man who marries a woman is queer. Mixed marriages never. Now Christine Keller is one of the McGuinness's ex-mysteries. Has done more damage to the British government from the Labour Party than the Mau Mau or the IRA have done in the past four years. Her aimed at coping with what it calls nuclear blackmail and threats of the United States. <laughs> Johnson, addressing a meeting of editorial cartoonists at the White House, ripped out three maids at gunpoint and proceeded to ransack the apartment. There takes McGinnis is the last of the freelance orators. McGinnis earns his living by breaking the law. It is against the law for me to ask you for money, but it's not against the law for you to give it to me, which of course is the same thing. Those of you who wish to contribute to my upkeep, I assure each and every one of you that I shall not insult any one of you by refusing to take money off you. If you have no money, if you would give it to me, if you had it, there's no need to walk away. Smile, smile. Don't let there be too many smiles, though. Then again, if you have money and you're enjoying listening to me and you give me nothing, let me give you a bit of gypsy advice. When you get to a road, look left, look right, and look left again. For Red China rather than North Vietnam. Johnson, addressing a meeting of editorial cartoonists at the White House, held three maids at gunpoint and presented them with a three-foot coat made from the air or from the ground. There had been speculation that when Red China was ready to explode... <laughs> at least be introduced to the subject of your spite and venom. The president added that on trial for perjury for allegedly lying to a grand jury about the Duncan, Duncan parking meter opinion and helping it in jewelry. He was illiterate. He could not read. He could not write. They taught him to read and write in the charge room and then they broke his neck. And what did you do about it? What did you do? Oh, song made the Chinese Communists the fifth nuclear power. Officials said it's three by three. <laughs>
What did you do the other day in the Daily Express, Lord? Education and labor. The consuls in Washington are showing interest. The the about Scrivain's getting the money was made by Gilson to form on a textile factory on the outskirts of Saigon. That daring attack mounted by guerrillas masquerading as South Vietnamese Marines. Best court of law. The solution to a cancer is to cut it out. The solution to tyranny is to oppose it. Sitting down, lying down, fighting, standing, running, jumping. By all means, for the state torments you by all means. <clears throat> Don't you call me Mr. Webster. You've got nothing on me. Webster has no creed. I believe in nothing except the reality with which I am confronted, understanding it and dealing with it in terms of my personality. Webster doesn't mind people disagreeing with him. It would be almost impossible to expect him to agree with him. You would have to be as intelligent as him. Webster doesn't mind if somebody's a Christian. Webster is off the money. Now, southwest of Saigon, a battalion of guerrillas pinned down Vietnamese troops with small arms fire. Fifteen government soldiers gone to live yet. Security of their motherland and world peace. Reliable and the assortment of Viscounts and Barons listen, but no action was taken. You can hear Webster's voice before anyone else's, whatever gate you come in, even if he's standing right over here in the open. What can you get off him? I don't know. He's got a tall platform. That's a help. And also some of the speakers are paid to hold meetings on very low platforms under the trees by the queers. You can use a crowd like that to satisfy they, their clumsy lust. Webster's platform is above suspicion. What can you get off him? Listen on. Your mind is a mental cem your mind's in a mental cemetery, Webster is saying. That's why you've got peace of mind. 